Hello again. I'm back to dwarfing it. Going for it. Is that small enough for dwarf? That might be small enough for dwarf. We'll just, we'll just say it is. I can resize myself. I'm gonna dive back into some more dwarfish fun. Is it dwarfish or dwarvish? I think it's dwarvish. Yeah, well, dwarves are small, so they can fit on even the smallest of screens. This is 244p. Everything was going to be streaming in 244p from this point forward. So I'm going to dive right back into the world that... What did I name this? My god. Simul name Worldium Upview Senior. And it's only been a few hours. But I really doubt I'm going to be able to remember exactly what I was doing. I think I was building walls. I was building walls and guns. Guns and walls and walls and guns and... Soon things that will explode. protection over here. And we will need a little bit... probably up here. Definitely up here. It takes a turret to raise a child. I look out of focus, but I've got my glasses on. I guess it does look kind of funny, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, we can, we can up the size just a bit here. Okay, we'll say that we'll go with Tall Dwarf. We've got a very Tall Dwarf today. Alright, we're in full asset protection mode. We need to get back and get our walls built. Uh, what's going on with our research? We must be short stuff. Ha! <laughs> short stuff. I'm a dwarf. Alright, what are we missing? Let's get five more of them going. Be what's going on here. Oh, optics research is done. No, we didn't. I canceled it or something. Okay. Get that back up. So after I get the walls built, we can probably get some more research labs put up and start refining our weaponry. Uh, what do we need to build bullets? Iron plate, I think. Iron plate. How are we doing on iron plate? Nothing. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. We don't need stone plates. Those aren't a thing. I'll take that. I'll take this.
And with your powers combined, I have bullets. Alright, we'll give you a little bit. You're good. You're good. I seem to be getting attacked down here the most. So let's get all this protected. And after putting these walls up, despite the fact that it will make only a semblance of sense in the reverse order, we're just going to go ahead and say that the dwarf's name is Gorbachev from here out. And let's start our military research. Okay, so now what I'm going to do... I am going to go ahead, well first I'm going to give this thing some bullets, and we're going to get some automation going. Start with one of these. No, not that. Gimme. Alright. We'll just we'll just go ahead and set this right here. That should be okay. So now what do we want it to make? We want this to make our science packs. And that requires copper plates and iron gear wheels. We'll give our rock quarry a bit of time to build us more stuff to make our walls. We'll grab some more iron ore. So we're going to be using lots of gears, probably. Let's build ourselves a little gear-making station. So we'll build another assembling plant. Power it up right here. Where's my gears at? Start making me some gears. Okay, so we need... we just need iron plates for this. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a... let's see, where's my power at? Right there. We'll take a an inserter. And we'll have one box to insert. And 
one box to outsert, which is a, a phrase I'm coining for this exact scenario. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so a stream of pipes burst near you. You know you should call my dwarf in on it. Gorbachev's got this. Oh my god, there's actually a Nintendo game called Gorby's Pipeline. It has Gorbachev on the cover. It's a puzzle game. Yeah, so... I heard, a, I heard a bunch of popping sounds, like fireworks going off, and then a bunch of police cars, and I thought it was just people doing fireworks. I wonder if that was your pipes bursting. Spraying up... How, how high is the fountain? Because we used to get them on our street, shooting up about a foot or two high, right in front of our house, and they, they patched the pipe several times, but never fixed it. I'm just going to assume that it looks like the fountain for Married with Children. Oh, I should probably turn all of this on. Okay, so let's pop a bunch of iron plates in here. Start the gears turning. Yeah, let's just let's just pack this whole thing out. I'll be able to get more bullets pretty soon. No major attacks yet. We're good. A lot of people like to automate everything in this game. I like to use boxes. I use boxes because I don't like to feel boxed into one play style. Alright, so where did we put our last wall? Everything should be good here. Oh, gotta finish it up. Okay, got some bug protection. Uh, it looks like we could have some trouble in our little red dots over to the west, so we definitely want to have walls up on the west side of everything as well. So we'll, we'll run this wall down this way, and then over this way. Alright, wait for some more bricks to get built up. Do I have fast inserters yet? Uh, I think the longhand inserters act as fast inserters, but we don't need that yet. Alright, so we've got a, we've got a gear making plant. So once we get a bunch of gears in there, we'll run that over to... Uh, what else do we need? We need copper plates. I don't want to crisscross all my roads just yet. We'll keep it simple. So it looks like we got a bit of a backlog here. I can probably extend this. Or maybe I just need to be gathering more. We'll see. I can always throw some boxes here. Okay. Grab some gears from here. And at least get started on our sciency potion things. I guess we'll need a box here too. Where's our power? We can use this side. Okay. Make two of these. One out. One in. Uh, wooden boxes are fine. And our inbox, we need all of our copper and all of our gears. 
That should keep our red potions coming. Probably want to do two of those because they don't really crank them out that quick. That's okay. Alright, so when we're this close to the iron, I guess I don't really have to automate this at the moment. I can just fill that box up and it'll run for a while. But I do need to do something about backing up here. So I'm starting to get to the point where stuff's filling up faster than I'm gathering it. Let's make some more bullets. Research needs some more stuff. Oh, we've got an attack going on. Let's go see how the bugs are faring. Oh, they're dead already. Did they get anything? They did not. They didn't even make it to the wall. All right, what do I need to build turrets? Gears, iron, and copper. Okay. So this is our heavy attack area, so I'm going to set another turret down. The bugs didn't even attack over here. Guns away, guns a blazing. Stock you up. And how are we looking? What do we need? we can speed this up. Uh, 22 iron.
Better guns achieved. Weapon shooting speed increase. Oh, we need a hundred for that, huh? Okay. Well, that can that can wait. 50, 30. Let's just go in order. Begin the research. Oh yeah, this is Pipe Burst Central. We we uh, we have a nice history in this entire area. The pipes go in, the pipes never come out. They sit there for 75 years, probably melting away, eroding, being carved out, and then being band-aided over with PVC or something. You wouldn't catch a dwarf doing that. You would not catch a dwarf making something so shoddily. Creepy alien music. Let's expand our domain. some more of this. See, now Gorbachev, he would tear down that pipe and put in a new one. There we go. Good old control click. Dwarves for life. All right, we got everything on the level here. It's time to start working on our storage capacity. So let's see. Oh, we're going to have to expand this wall to do that. Oh. Hey, bugs. How's our ammo looking? 14, 13. Not bad. Let's run some power lines.
fix that? I think I can. Yeah, I can fix that. There we go. Give me one more. And we will just box those up. Okay. That should keep things running for a while. Probably draw in more bugs, too. But that doesn't bug me. running in here, too. You're gonna need more ammo. Where did they come from? Must have something close by. Oh. Right along the water. That's a big one, too. How big? Oh, that's really big. Well, that is not good. I'm gonna need a couple more turrets for that. And bloop. Yeah, we'll just pop one there. Pop one here. There's the fast inserters. Another 30. Hmm. Definitely want to get some steel going. Now well, let's start with the turrets. Not turrets, what are these? Inserters. We better get our wall built over here. Me throat's going. Time for a sip of coffee. That does not help throats, but it tasted good. Okay. Down to the old copper farm. Boy, my voice is just not with it today. I try to speak and it's just the call of Cthulhu. Mm. 
Yeah. Thank you, Windows. I don't know why you decided to pop up a bunch of uh, folders in front of my screen, but that's okay. You do you. Yeah, let me tell you about Windows. We're going to talk about Windows for a second here. And I'm going to tell you why I like walls way better than Windows. So for starters, Windows seems to think that I really want to use OneDrive. I was, I was really, really not looking forward to Windows 11. I tried to avoid it, but I was building a new computer so I could uh, do a couple of powerful things. And uh, lo and behold, Windows 11 just loves to default everything to a fake desktop hidden within OneDrive. So you think you're saving to a desktop. And what really happens? No, 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 you're not on the desktop. You're in OneDrive. And so you think you've got all this room on a nice big 2 terab terabyte M2 drive that you bought. And you're hearing a message from Windows telling you that you have 4 gigs of space left. So uh, you can imagine that's a little disconcerting. You're like, what's filling up that 2 terabytes? Oh, well, your desktop isn't in the actual hard drive. It's in the cloud. Why would I ever want my desktop in the cloud? I could understand putting, like, a shared folder or a document you want to work on with someone in the cloud. I know people use the cloud to transfer stuff. Why in God's name would I want things like game config files in the cloud? Dear Windows, if you can explain this to me, which you can't, because there's, no exp there's, there's literally no explanation for this. This is... I, I mean, everyone that experiences this should have murder in their heart. That's how grievous this is. A little bit peeved about it, in case you couldn't tell. So we're not going to do windows. We're going to do walls. more than a hundred limit, huh? That's pretty good. Alright, I guess we'll keep that going. <sighs> Microsoft, what happened to you? Oh, yeah, no, it didn't do that in Windows 10. I had Windows 10, and Windows 10 was kind of shaky at first, but it was okay in the end. Windows 11, man, <laughs> some nice ideas in there. Uh, if any of them were any good, they were all executed poorly. And, and I've done all the things that one has to do to stop it from saving things to OneDrive. You have to immediately pull all of your video, picture, you know, you know like the uh, the special folders that you get default in Windows 7 through 10, where, where it's like documents, videos, pictures, that thing. Those are all in OneDrive on, at, at default to start on Windows 11, and nobody wants that. Maybe, maybe some people want it. Maybe for pictures, but, I mean, I just, I put them all on my hard drive. And then it, like, I woke up one day and tried to look for something I had saved. And it was in a newly created pictures folder in OneDrive. It, and even though I hadn't saved anything to it, it, you know, like Windows likes to say, okay, what was the last folder you used? We'll save to that again. Well, we'll, we'll no, apparently I saved something and it was like, you know what? You probably actually wanted this in OneDrive in a new pictures folder, didn't you? which is not what I wanted. Not a fan. And it seems like you can't remove OneDrive either. Like, I, I think I looked it up and there's steps to do it, but it's like, it's not really a removal so much as uh, disabling it, I guess. And if you don't do it right, it messes with a bunch of stuff. I don't know. It's, it's annoying. The cloud is not that important. Especially for home users. Go 
Gorby understands. Okay, fast inserters are done. Now we don't need any fast inserters for this. Right, what did I build? Uh oh. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Let's see how our guns are holding up. Looks like they held up well. And one more power line. One more, you know what, we, we want an iron box here. Alright, let's grab some of this iron and get ourselves a couple of assembling machines. Just make a whole bunch of them. Start auto manufacturing our usual items. See, now you know Windows, if you made it easier for me to automate tasks, that's something that would be useful. Instead of, you know, changing every single thing about Microsoft Word every year. Oh man, I'm going to write a book this year. Alright, I'm going to write another one next year. Oh hey, I have to relearn how to use everything in Word. Thank you for that. Yes, for anyone that's looking for a way out of that. LibreOffice, OpenOffice, either one of those. Free, better than Word. With all the features of Word. Do I sound a little bit bitter about it? Okay, so we've got a plant that's manufacturing gears. else are we using a lot of? We don't really need to build telephone poles. We could use walls and transport belts. So we want to automate the building of transport belts. We'll set this here. Yeah, that should be okay. And we will set that to belts. So we need gears. We'll have gears coming right there. And iron plates. So we're going to need a couple more of these. Insert and outsert. And a couple of storage boxes. All 
Alright. Let's get it started. Throw some of that in there. Do I have any gears in here yet? Oh, what's going on? I'm out of ingredients? What do the gears need? Iron plate? Okay. Not a problem. Also going to want to plant for the manufacture of inserters. Yeah, yeah, I sound a little bit annoyed at Microsoft, don't I? It's just a little. If anything that I want, if there's anything I want Gorby to tear down, I don't know. I'm sure that they'll be wildly successful with the acquisition of Bethesda. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to what they do with uh, Elder Scrolls 6, but we'll see if they do it justice. Okay, what else do we want? Ah, uh, let's see, let's just... Let's build a couple of iron chests. ammunition. Oh, you know what else I need? I need some light armor. Okay. I should have done that a while ago. Uh, what gun am I using? We should build the submachine gun. Shotgun's pretty good, too. But I think I've used the shotgun in every game. I'll build the submachine gun. Some more walls. Steel is done. Ah, the steel axe. And the heavy armor. Yeah, let's start that research. Alright, so it's starting to take longer to build this stuff, so I guess it's time that we built another science plant. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and... What do I need? Some iron? Alright, got a lot of running back and forth that I'm doing now, so now is the time to start automating all of that. first, while I think about that.
Looks like this is working in tandem pretty well. We don't really have to touch anything over here, except to flesh out our wall a bit. And I'm gonna leave an opening, actually. Well, no, I don't have to. We can walk around. I'll be building doors there soon anyway. Actually, when can I do that? Uh, let's see, gates. Gates are going to be in the next section. What do I have to get to get that? Oh, just two things. Okay, so we'll do the logistics pack and the military two next. Gates are useful. You don't have to walk around things. Unlike windows, where you can you think you can see everything that's going on, but but you're just Oh jeez. I'm going to die. Unless I make it to my guns. That was uh that was close. And that's why we pay attention to what we're doing, sometimes. Okay, let's automate wall building. You're gonna go... Hmm. Yep, you're gonna go here. Okay, let's get rid of that. moving a bit slow. Let's get some lights here. Build me a couple lights. Build ten of them. We'll probably need them. Go ahead and throw that down there. Sounds like the bugs are back. Uh, we're going to put a light right here. We'll make sure we're okay. The bugs get stronger as the game progresses and as you pollute more. Light there. There's no electricity there. Put a light there. Put a light here. And a light here. That looks nice. turret up here. What's going on? A couple of bugs decided to run this away. I guess this is where we need our next wall.
I could probably use another tree. Alright, how's our iron gathering going? We can increase the production. I just take everything out of there? I did not want to do that. Seem like they really attack power lines, that's good. Alright, we can make some heavy armor. Oh, we need steel plates though. Did I do steel yet? I think I did. Five iron plates. heavy armor. The bugs are going to get really, really uh, finicky here. Uh, gotta make it in a furnace. Alright, well, we can start another string of furnaces somewhere. Probably right here. Get some steel production going. Grab some stone. Okay. running up here, do I? No. Good. Okay. Guess. Do I want to run a splitter? I think I want to run a splitter. Well, let's do what we have so far. Alright. Need some power lines. Gonna need some copper. I guess we want to get our next sciency bit going. Let's do the logistics pack. Okay, we definitely need to ramp up copper production. That is not a problem.
Using the powers of his mind, the dwarf deconstructs the wall. Well done, Gorbachev. must have set this, or, or maybe I've used all the resources already. So that, that explains why it's kicking out so slow. How did I not notice that? I mean, the obvious answer is I'm a complete buffoon, but, you know, it goes like that. Oh, let's see. Do I need to move stuff? I think I do. Master. Okay, this is not working as well as I want it to, so we're going to expand this. See how well this works. Take two of these. If we want to get our gates, I need to figure out how to build these. Let's start the research. Let's grab some resources.
looks like we're a little bit out of ammo. Well, I am a lot out of ammo. iron. Oh, no, we need transport belts and inserters. Tricky. Huh, how are we going to do this? Alright, if I'm going to make the transport belts and inserters up here... If that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. And now, we need to replace one inserter with a fast inserter. That's beautiful. Look at it, it is just having a ball. furnace. Looking good, looking good. Don't need this wall here anymore. Let's 
Should I make another Gorbachev joke? I could totally make another Gorbachev joke. enough road we can actually probably don't need the inserter anymore now we're still gonna need some of that huh all right well let's let's take all of this for a start Grab these. Okay, so we're going to want one automation plant to make yummy green potions. there. We need roads, we need transport belts. So we've got one building roads. We're going to want one building transport belts. Wait, did I just call two things the same thing? God, I'm tired. We don't want transport belts, we want inserters. Oh, right. Right, right, right. Uh-oh. Tear it down. Get running, Gorby. What's going on down here? Are we out of ammo? Seems like everything was okay. Let's build a little bit more ammo so we can make sure. And they're back. Can't waste any more time. Let's refill this ammo. And while we're at it... Let's actually move you... ...up here.
What is my plan now? Okay, we need gears to go here. We also need iron plates. This might just be crazy enough to work. Let's try it. for our first underground section. take another underground section. Hello. This does not look good. Why don't I have a turret here? Let's get on that right away. All oh, right, I put it up there.
Okay, we're getting regular bug attacks now. Oh, how to do this. We'll take this, we'll build a long-reach inserter. And hopefully that will... Uh, we'll need another one. Okay, it looks like that'll work. And that should deliver stuff there. And that should build our roads. Alright, what were you doing? Roads and inserters. Inserters are here. They also need iron plates and gear wheels. So... Do a splitter. Alright, that'll slow things down production-wise, but it should get us rolling on getting things a little more automated so I don't have to really deal with this running back and forth so much anymore. Now, we need a box here. Right here should be good. No, right here. circuits. Copper cable, iron plates. Copper cable needs copper plates. armor.
let's get us some lighting. Light here. Maybe a light here. One here. One here. I guess we can't really hold off on this anymore. We're going to need some ammunition. Let's automate ammunition. Ah, uh, where's a good place to put you? One inserter. One power line. One more inserter. One iron box. And I put them in the wrong place. Do some repairs. Okay, we are industrializing. still need the steel box. I don't think so. We'll take all that for now. Take you and you. We will replace you with a long inserter. This will be bad. Oh, no, nope, we're still good.
least keep my own ammo up, but it wouldn't hurt to give a little extra here. Give a little bit. Fuel is fine. Use another repair kit. Don't have enough ingredients. Yikes. Got enough copper now. this military stuff going. What do we need over here? What do we got over here? Lots of road. Okay, well we can at least start with this. Give me two of these. Anything yet? No, we didn't. We need the circuit boards there. Okay, everything looks good. We are fully automated. We're having a good time. Kinda need to find a way to 
I'm gonna have to do another gear automation. Definitely get more. Oh, we're not even using three of these forges. What's going on here? We need to kick out a bit more. That should solve that. Okay, how fast is our ammunition coming up? That's, that's okay, I guess. Let's make some copper plates, copper wire. And I think we'll, we'll call this the last bit of automation we're going to create for the day. We'll pop this up here. Drop this a wire. And we'll do two of these. that up to make some copper wire and a nice box to store it all in. So we'll make a couple more of these and we'll just drop those off in the old science center. Oh, hello. It didn't work out too well for you, did it?
Okay, let's give our game a save. And we'll call it a night there. Many bugs have died tonight for their country. Good lads. <laughs>